Hello, I'm Erin Lowe, Chair of the Lethbridge Sport Council. Welcome to the 2021 Lethbridge Sport Council Achievement Awards. Although 2020 was a tough year for sport at all levels, there were certainly some bright spots too. As always, we're very proud of our sport community and so pleased that you have joined us in celebration of the achievements of 15 amazing recipients. Before we begin, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our sport volunteers and staff for their commitment to make community support happen. You are not only developing successful athletes, but you're also providing opportunities for our youth to learn how to deal with adversity, take on challenges, adapt when necessary, and work harder than they ever thought they could, all while having fun participating in the sport they love. Now, let's present the awards to this year's recipients for their achievements in 2020. All of our award recipients are members of a Lethbridge sport organization or train at a Lethbridge sport facility and demonstrate respect for the game, a love of sport, respect for others, and a commitment to fair play and ethical sport. Our first category of awards is the Athletic Performance Awards. This year we recognize five individuals and one team. The Athlete Awards are presented to athletes considered in their sport to be a junior, senior, or master level of competition. The recipient for the 2020 Junior Male Athlete Award is Caleb DeMar. Caleb is 16 years old and has already accomplished more in the sport of judo than most athletes ever dream of. Caleb started in the sport of judo when he was seven. He was physically small and quiet, but the coaches could tell right away he had true athletic ability. In 2020, Caleb was named Judo Canada's most outstanding U16 male athlete and qualified for Team Alberta on the Elite Nationals roster. He won gold at the Elite U18 National Championships and a respectable seventh place at the U18 International Judo Federation Cup in Spain. If 2020 was not cancelled for obvious reasons, his coaches believe he would have also been the representative for Canada at the Cadet World Championships for his respective weight class. We believe you will hear about Caleb and his accomplishments in the sport of judo for many years to come. We are honored to present the Junior Male Athlete Award to Caleb DeMar. I would like to start off with thanking the Lethbridge Sport Council for giving me this award. My judo career started out when I was six years old and my parents decided that me and my two older brothers who were all a year apart and packed full of energy needed to get out and get out of the house and burn it off. After that year, I've stuck with it ever since and never looked back. The coaches have voluntarily put endless hours into each athlete every night. I would like to thank in particular Trevor McAlpine and Russ Gallant, who have invested so much into me, along with every other athlete at the Lethbridge Kaido and Judo Club. It has provided me with so many opportunities and experiences that I would have most likely never had in other sports. I have been able to travel all across Canada and all across the world to represent my club province and country and it has been an awesome experience for me and so many other athletes. I would like to end it off with thanking everyone that has got me to where I am today and I look forward to wherever Giro takes me for the years to come. Jeff's On Target Painting is a proud sponsor for the 2020 Junior Female Athlete. Jeff's On Target Painting specializes in custom finish spray painting. Jeff has supported Lethbridge Sport Council in the past as a sponsor, volunteer, and donated his services, finishing the trophy case in the main entrance of the Lethbridge Sport Council office. The recipient for the 2020 Junior Female Athlete Award is Evelyn Beaton. Evelyn is one of the many successful female judoka who have represented the Lethbridge Judo Club. She was named a Lethbridge 2020 Kinsman Sports Person of the Year, the Judo Canada U16 Female Athlete of the Year, the Judo Alberta Outstanding Performer of the Year, and the Outstanding U18 Female Athlete 
at the 2020 Elite Nationals. She was the 2020 Elite National Champion in both the U18 and Senior Age categories for her respective weight category, which helped the Lethbridge Judo Club win the Judo Canada U18 Club of the Year Award. She followed this up with an impressive second place at the 2020 U18 European Cup in Italy in February 2020, and then competed out of her weight division to win a gold medal at the 2020 Edmonton International in the Senior Age Division in March 2020. In October 2020, Judo Canada awarded her with a U18 Sport Canada Athletes Assistance contract to help further develop her skills as a high performance athlete. We are honored to present the Junior Female Award to Evelyn B. So first off, I am honored to, re to be receiving this award. So thank you, Lethbridge Sports Council for the award. I'd like to thank my coaches who are constantly helping me improve and are constantly supporting me throughout my athletic career. I'd, I would also like to thank my teammates who are also supporting me through competitions and always helping me uh, relax and stay calm and not be as nervous. I'd like to thank my coach, Russ Gallant, who nominated me for this award. I'd like to thank my dad, who happens to be the uh, provincial coach for judo, for always making sure I'm working hard at practice and I'm always improving and having a positive mindset. I'd like to thank my mom for making sure I'm always honest with myself and my parents, which I just mentioned, for always paying for my trips and uh, events and driving me to each practice. The sponsor for the 2020 Senior Male Athlete is the Horns Hockey Alumni Association. This 10-year Premier Award sponsor contributes their time and energy to the University of Lethbridge Prong Horns hockey team, doing 50-50s, a golf fundraiser, and a lobster dinner annually to help support the team. The recipient for the 2020 Senior Male Athlete Award is Andreas Trotsky. Entering his third year as a pronghorn, Andreas Trotsky was named Pronghorn Athlete of the Week several times, named the 2020 Pronghorn Male Men's Track Team MVP, and the 2020 University of Lethbridge Pronghorn Athlete of the Year. Opening the indoor season, Andreas won the weight throw in the first three meets before becoming the Canada West champion. Andreas ranked second in Canada in the under 23 male athletes in weight throw. Looking to medal for a third consecutive year at the U Sports Championships, Andreas had to dig deep late in the competition to achieve that goal. Sitting outside the medal pitcher heading into his final throw, Trotsky threw 17.64 meters to vault up and win the bronze medal at the eSports Championships. We are honored to present the senior male athlete to Andreas Trotsky. I'd like to thank the Lethbridge Sport Council very much for honoring me with uh, this award, and I'd like to thank the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns and specifically the track and field team and my coach, uh, Larry Stanky, for uh, everything that they've done to build me up to this point in my career. I chose Lethbridge, uh, the city of Lethbridge and the University of Lethbridge because of the tradition it has in sport. And uh, I really hope that uh, this award will be the first step in a, a long road and a long career ahead for me. The 2020 Senior Female Athlete 10-Year Premier Award sponsor is the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns Athletics. Sport in Lethbridge is stronger because of the Pronghorns Athletics program through their work with community sport and providing great sport experiences to their fan base. The recipient for the 2020 Senior Female Athlete Award is Haley Driscoll. Graduating last April as a fifth year, Haley Driscoll was an impactful and dedicated player for the Pronghorn women's rugby team in both 15s and 7s. She was a 2020 U Sport Academic All Canadian, 2020 Canada West All Star, 2020 U Sport Second Team All Canadian, 2020 Pronghorn Women's Rugby MVP, and she's been featured as the Pronghorn Athlete of the Week, and last year was named as the 2020 Pronghorn Female Athlete of the Year. She'll be remembered as one of the most prolific try scorers in Pronghorn history. Her skill set and strong work ethic really shines through as a rugby player. Haley is not only an incredible rugby player, she's a great teammate. Haley strives to be kind to everyone. She makes everyone around her feel welcome and comfortable. 
She is always the first person to offer up her time to help her teammates fit in extra conditioning and training sessions with her. She's known for making those around her better. Haley truly embodies what it means to be a good teammate. We are honored to present the Senior Female Athlete Award to Haley Driscoll. I'd like to start by thanking my good friend and teammate Keegan Brantner for nominating me for this amazing award. I'd also like to thank all my coaches and teammates I had while I played at the University of Lethbridge, especially Neil Langevin, Rick Suggett, and Ashley Stacey. They provided me with every opportunity to be the best athlete I could possibly be, and without them I wouldn't have obtained all the goals I wanted to achieve. I'd also like to thank my greatest supporters, my mom, dad, grandma, and sister. Thank you for coming to every single one of my games with a smiling face, even when it was minus 40 and snowing. I'm eternally grateful for everything that you guys have ever done for me. Thank you so much. Runner Soul is a proud sponsor of the 2020 Master Athlete Award. Runner Soul was established in 1994 and has been an integral part of the running community in Lethbridge ever since. They continue to work hard to build and unite the running community in Lethbridge and Southern Alberta. We are recognizing co-recipients in the Master Athlete Award category. The first of two Master Athlete recipients is Kip Kingogo. Kip Kingogo has been a Canadian national champion in the 5,000 meter, 10,000 meter, and half marathon distances. Kip is now racing as a Masters athlete, 40 years of age and older, and continues to post fantastic results. He placed second overall at the Edmonton Marathon and was the first Canadian Masters finisher with a time of two hours, 23 minutes, 27 seconds. In the Victoria Marathon, he was third overall with a time of two hours, 21 minutes, 49 seconds, making him the top Canadian, top Masters athlete, and he set a Masters course record. We have marveled at Kip's determination, talent, and community-minded approach. Kip has worked at Chinook High School over the last six years years and volunteers with the Chinook High running groups. During that time, he has come to be known as an incredible member of our community. Any privilege he's had was a privilege he created for himself and his family. Through his numerous prize purses, Kip has helped his family in Kenya, helped put his sister through school in Lethbridge, and after his wedding in Kenya, he brought his wife home to Lethbridge and helped her finish her university degree. He has put his roots down in Lethbridge, where he and his wife live, work, contribute, and raised their family of three young children. He is a father, a husband, a brother, an employee, and a caretaker of his extended family in Lethbridge. We are pleased to present the first of two co-recipients of the 2020 Master Athlete Award to Kip Kangogo. Hi, I am Kip Kangogo, and I would like to thank the Lethbridge Sport Council for selecting me the recipient of this award. I would also like to thank Chinook High School, Rana Soul, for supporting me over the years. Their support has, been a, has played a key role in my running career. May I also thank my family for supporting me in every step of the way. Their support has enabled me to travel, train, and compete across our great nation. Last but not least, may I thank my coach, Matthew Chiriot Kiema, for his coaching and friendship. Thank you for your guidance. Finally, I would just like to say that sports has united me with other Canadians and has connected me to the community. Once again, thank you to Lethbridge Sport Council for selecting me to, for this award. Well done. Our second recipient of the Masters Athlete Award are the Cooley Classic Ice Dragons. The Ice Dragons are members of the Dragon Boat Association of Southern Alberta, Cooley Classic Dragons, a team of women ages 50 to 70 who have paddled in Masters events in New Zealand, Australia, and the Canadian National Dragon Boat Competition. The 12-member Ice Dragon Women's 50-plus paddling team earned a silver medal in the women's division of the Shiver and Giver fundraising races during the 2020 International Dragon Boat Federation World Ice Dragon Boat Championships. The competition involved over 100 teams from around the world and is the largest ice dragon boat championship. The Cooley Classic Dragons came together in 2016 with the goal of participating in their favorite sport, motivating the members to get fit and maintain a healthy and active lifestyle. With minimal opportunities for competition for female masters athletes, dragon boating provides camaraderie, a sense of community, and team spirit. 
The team wants girls and women, young and mature, to not only think they can be active, but to participate and compete in sport throughout their lifespan. They are changing attitudes and lives. We are pleased to present the second of two co-recipients for the 2020 Master Athlete Award to the Cooley Classic Ice Dragons. I'm truly honoured to accept this Lethbridge Sports Council Award on behalf of the Cooley Classic Ice Dragons. Thank you to DASA for the nomination. The Cooley Classic Ice Dragons are a member of the Dragon Boat Association of Southern Alberta. We are part of a larger team, the Cooley Classic Dragons, or CCD. We are a self-funded women's masters. That's ages 50 plus Dragon Boat team. All participants are 50 plus. Last year, Ottawa hosted the second international ice Dragon Boat Festival on the Rideau Canal as part of their Winterlude Festival. On the trip to Ottawa, we were surprised to learn we actually developed a fan club. A family going to Ottawa to visit kept in touch with us after learning what we were going for and actually came out with their friends and family to cheer us on in the event. The Ice Dragon Boat Festival itself was an awesome experience in spite of the minus 20 to minus 30 degree temperatures we endured. Learning to actually get the boat moving was new learning for all of us. Our first race was the opening event. It was a charity race, which we were fortunate to be involved in. Only 15 of the 100 teams that were there were chosen to be in this event opener. A night under the lights on the Rideau Canal. We raced against teams that had participated in the event the year before, but our training, team discipline, and fitness level prevailed. We actually won a bronze medal. There were 100 teams in the races that followed the next three days. We did not medal in uh, a game, but we did make it to the semifinals, and we were very proud of our accomplishment. For this, we must thank our coaches, Karen Johnson, Suzanne Harris, and Chris Lowings, for their coaching and encouragement to take on this new challenge. Our coaches instill in us the importance of timing, technique, and above all, working together as a team. Thank you to our team members who were unable to join us in this event and were staying in contact with us to cheer us on. Our media support person, Colleen Ballon, did a great job of not only promoting our participation, but also keeping everyone informed of our progress. Special thanks to DASA, not only for the nomination, but for being the organization behind our team, providing us with infrastructure to participate in events, for providing the equipment, not only to our team, but to the teams involved in the sport of dragon boat racing in Lethbridge. Dragon boating is for all ages, but being involved at a master's level encourages participants to stay active, to concentrate on your fitness, and above all, to create that sense of family and overall well-being. As Cooley Classic Ice Dragons and Cooley Classic Dragon Boat team members, we will continue to promote master's sports. And of course, we hope to continue to put our home base, Lethbridge, Alberta, on the world map of athletes. Our next major goal is to attend the World Master Games in Kansai, Japan, in May of 2022. Thank you again for this honor. The recipient for the 2020 Amateur Team Award is Female Hockey PWA Cyclones. The PWA Cyclone female hockey team had a stellar 2019-2020 season, winning gold at the prestigious Wickfest in Calgary, at its own Cyclones Classic Tournament, and at the Cami Granado Invitational Tournament in Vancouver. Several players participated in a skills competition while in Vancouver, taking home top spots in the fastest skater and shootout competitions. And as such, resulted in the team being featured on Lethbridge Herald and on Sportsnet. The PBA Cyclones were getting ready to host the Provincials in March 2020. Even though the team was not able to compete in the Provincials, it earned a reputation of a team with a strong work ethic with the athletes and the coaches who kept the fun in the game. On and off the ice, the team developed into a cohesive group. Overall, this group of female athletes worked hard, encouraged one another, demonstrated camaraderie, and really developed their abilities individually and as a team throughout the season. This group of female athletes had a season they will forever remember and help put Lethbridge female hockey on the map. We are pleased to present the Amateur Team Award to Female Hockey PWA Cyclones. I wish the team could all be here together to accept this award, but we'll get together uh, and celebrate when it's safe to do so. 
Um, it's my honor to accept this award on behalf of the 2019-2020 Lethbridge PBA Cyclones. Uh, the team's athletes were Shaley DeBona, Sutter Reeves, Asia Taylor, Brooke Many Gray Horses, Sarah Broad, Kat Nakama, Paisley Luce, Amelia Prenovos, Jessica Hudson, Jenna Arlette, Christian Redcrow, Aliyah Fanazir, Lena Loomer, Hannah Farncombe, Atlee Ross, Macy Meach, Janae Tamke, and the coaching and management staff were Angie Forsyth, Kirsten Fanazir, Nicole Forsyth, Jay Ross, Derek Taylor, and myself, Chris Fanazir. On behalf of the team, we'd like to thank the Lethbridge Sports Council for recognizing the amazing season that this team had both on and off the ice. Uh, as well, I wanted to thank those that nominated the team. It was a great surprise, a great honor to be awarded the 2020 Amateur Team Award. The team would like to thank the parents and family as well for their support, encouragement, commitment, and the opportunity to play this amazing game. We'd also like to thank the team's management staff, coaching staff, and our sponsors for their time, commitment, and the resources it took in order for this to be such a successful season. It's easy to measure the success of a team by its victories and its stats. The team had an impressive record and celebrated many victories at prestigious tournaments. As a coach, I have the opportunity to evaluate success on a different level. The team embraced our motto of courage, competition, and camaraderie, both on and off the ice. The team exemplified character that is rare for a team of athletes at this age. It was this character that separated this team from all the other teams. The game was never out of reach in their minds. If things didn't go their way, they left a loss on the ice and they took the lesson with them. When they were victorious, they were respectful and gracious. Away from the ice, their positive attitudes were contagious. The success, positivity, and work ethic of this team broke through those stereotypes that female hockey is not as competitive as male hockey. Uh, they broke through the barriers that there isn't as many opportunities for female hockey, and they demonstrated equality. The team bolstered the reputation of female hockey, not only within Lethbridge Minor Hockey Association, but throughout Southern Alberta as well. Thank you for recognizing our amazing team and these fantastic athletes. Thank you. Our next category of awards is the Sport Excellence Awards. This year we recognize a coach, official, volunteer, and business. The recipient for the 2020 Coaching Excellence Award is Chris Kakucha. Chris is the Director of Coaching and Player Development for the Lethbridge Lacrosse Association. He opened the 2020 season with player and coaching clinics, recognizing the importance of off-season mentorship, conditioning, skill development, and that overall sense of community. In February, in a nod to the history of lacrosse, community inclusion, and making the sport of lacrosse available to all, Chris partnered with community members to offer Indigenous youth and coaches an opportunity to try lacrosse. Once the reality of the COVID-19 pandemic reached the sporting world, Chris kicked it into overdrive. When government regulations allowed for modified cohort skill development, Chris was ready to mobilize his coaching partners to offer quality programming at all age levels. Chris engages in extensive research and contributes greatly to policy development, ensuring an ethical and best practice standard of level of play and leadership. He's trained many coaches that have won medals at the provincial level, most recently in 2019, Midget Gold, Bantam Silver, and Pee Wee Gold. Chris authentically invests in his players, being available for extra guidance and support, helping with post-secondary applications, job references, and genuinely engaging in the interests and investments of his players and their families. As well, Chris is a great liaison for scouts, and as a result, numerous players have gone on to play national and collegiate level lacrosse. We are pleased to present the coaching excellence to Chris Kakucha. So I want to thank the Lethbridge Sports Council for uh, this award. It's a great honor, and I appreciate all the work that the Sports Council does in the community uh, to support amateur sport in uh, Southern Alberta. I also want to thank Jackie for her kind and gracious comments and the Lethbridge uh, Lacrosse Association Board for nominating me. Uh, for this award, I was uh, somewhat mortified when I found out, but uh, again, it's a, it's a great honor. So I was going to use most of this speech to just uh, list a bunch of people who I worked with over uh, a number of years, because uh, everybody who's involved in amateur sports know that it's it's not just one person that uh, results in success in, in an organization. 
Uh, but when I started writing down the names, I, I within about 10 minutes, I had dozens of names, uh, which is problematic in a, in a speech that's supposed to last for one minute. Uh, and it's also, but it's also indicative of, of what I was saying about t having a group of people for success. So uh, I just want to thank all of the uh, volunteer board members that I've served with over the years, and obviously the coaches I've coached with over the years, and uh, the parent volunteers who played such an important role over the years. A few specific people I will mention though, um, are our current president of the Lethbridge Cross Association, Mike Medhurst, our past president, Heather M Missick, uh, Kyle Tate also, who I'm a coach with, with one of the juniors on the junior team as well. Um, and Brad Height, who I, I worked with for uh, quite a bit of time over the years as well. And certainly I knew nothing about the game of lacrosse when I got involved. I learned everything from the coaches I coached with and specifically former players. So I want to thank John Zook, uh, Mark McNally, and especially Andrew Ng, and uh, most notably the coach that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to serve with now as an assistant on the juniors, uh, Darren Andre, who I think is one of the best coaches in the province. Last, just to wrap up though, uh, not, none of this happens well to players, and the players are the reason why we get involved in this. And we've had great success with our program in Southern Alberta. Uh, we've sent teams to provincial championships. We've won provincial championships, uh, medaled in provincial championships. We have our players from a Lethbridge making team, Alberta. Two of our players from Lethbridge played on the national championship team two years ago in uh, for our team, Alberta. Um, we're putting players in junior A programs, and we now have our first players uh, uh, playing in the NCAA as scholarship athletes uh, in field lacrosse. So all that's great, but the main thing is is, is when we when we build relationships with players. And you see them grow up from nine and 10 years old to become young adults and, and the success they have in their personal and professional lives. Uh, that's that's the, the best reward, uh, regardless of any success on the field or, or, the, or the floor. And uh, knowing that lacrosse played some role in that is, is probably the most rewarding thing. So thank you again to everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm very humbled by this uh, award uh, and I appreciate it very much. The Lethbridge College Kodiaks is a proud 10-year Premier Award sponsor for the 2020 Officiating Excellence Award. Lethbridge College Kodiaks teams are consistently strong competitors in the Alberta College's Athletics Conference. At Lethbridge College, success is not only defined by athletic performance, it is also measured by academic achievement. Uh, the recipient uh, for the 2020 Officiating Excellent Award is Mike Robinson. For 30 years, Mike Robinson has committed to the officiating program for the Alberta Softball Umpires Association, Lethbridge Softball Umpire, Umpires Association, Alberta Softball Association, and Softball Canada. He is a Level 5 Internationally Certified Umpire and a Level C Certified Instructor and Evaluator. He has been a voting delegate for the Softball Alberta for 25 years and 28 years for Alberta Softball Umpires Association. For Zone 1, he served as an umpire in chief in for 11 years, secretary treasurer for 10 years, and secretary treasurer for Alberta Softball Umpires Association for three years. He has given his time and knowledge both to the adult and minor ball programs and at the elite and grassroots levels for both fast pitch and slow pitch. His impressive resume continues, including 15 Softball Alberta Provincial Championships, one Western Canadian Championship, four Canadian Championships, and one World Championship. He supervised 16 Provincial Championships, two Western Canadian Championships, and six Canadian Championships. Mike believes a well-officiated game is one that an official goes unnoticed by the bystanders. We are pleased to present the Officiating Excellence Award to Mike Robinson. I would like to thank the Lethbridge Sports Council for this award. I would also like to thank Softball Alberta Zone 1 District Organizer Gloria Guthrow for the nomination. No one excels unless they are surrounded by a great support system. There are numerous officials that deserve some of the credit for me receiving this award and the training and resources provided by Softball Canada's Officials Development Committee and the Alberta Softball Umpires Association. I was privileged to have entered my umpiring career in 1990 when our local association, the Lethbridge Softball Umpires Association, had many national caliber officials and great leadership from the umpire in chief on down through its ranks. We also had many national caliber teams playing ball in our zone, both fast and slow pitch alike. 
has created an environment that pushed you to be a better official every game. The Lethbridge Softball Umpires Association played host to numerous provincial and Western Canadian championships, which allowed for plenty of opportunities to officiate very high caliber ball. When I was awarded my Softball Canada Level 5 in 2002, my mentor, Joe Feller, told me my goal was to now replace myself. I've been privileged to have done so four times in the last 18 years. I've also had the privilege of officiating at a Senior Men's World Championship in Manassas, Virginia in 2007 and supervise at six Canadian Championships where as part of the supervisory crew, we had the opportunity of teaching and correcting mechanics, rule interpretations, as well as recommending other level five officials. I now happily provide instruction to our newest officials each spring by providing a clinic to the Lethbridge Minor Softball Association and the Medicine Hat Minor Softball Association. As an elite official, your goal is invisibility on the diamond. Your perfect aim would be one that you officiated and no one remembered you were there. So being singled out for this award goes against everything I believe in as an official, but again, I am very honored to receive this award. The NMAX Center is pleased to be the sponsor for the 2020 Volunteer in Sport Award. Volunteers are the heartbeat of what makes successful events possible and how many sports remain viable in our community. Sport brings with it a whole new dimension of culture to our community. And this is seen in the smiles of volunteers doing what they love for the passion of sport. The recipient for the 2020 Volunteer in Sport Award is Da -na 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 -na. Danette Anderson. Danette is Anderson is the heartbeat of the Lethbridge Division of Ace Volleyball. In charge of tryouts, collecting paperwork, and other daily duties, Danette is at the facility at least six days a week. She's an amazing coach, helps other coaches, answers questions, communicates with parents, and keeps the facility working at full capacity. Constructing a new facility was a huge undertaking for Ace Volleyball, but right there the entire time was Danette as well as her entire family. They volunteered to help create, install, and complete the inside of the new facility. Danette spent multiple nights and weekends there, making sure everything was ready to go for the athletes and also super clean. During year one, she took care of the administration by collecting paperwork, answering emails, and talking to parents. In year two, she made everything run smoothly while the club doubled in size. She committed to 12-hour days every single Saturday and kept score for all games. Danette holds lots of roles within the club, but she's also a friend to the coaches and athletes. She's a sounding board for people, a friendly, kind soul who is welcoming to everyone and anyone who walks through those doors. She's an amazing ambassador for ACE, the sport of volleyball, and the community of Lethbridge. We are pleased to present the Volunteer in Sport Award to Danette Anderson. Congratulations, Danette. First off, I would like to thank Lethbridge Sport Council for the Volunteer in Sport Award. I was shocked to say the least with the multiple nominations. And congratulations to all the other recipients of the awards for 2020. It is truly an honour for all of us. My biggest thanks goes to Ace Volleyball Club for allowing me to be a part of their organization for the past three years. Dave Wildman took a chance on bringing me on board to run the Lethbridge division of Ace back in 2018. We started off with four teams, then six, and now eight this year. One of the greatest assets to the club are our coaches who do all the hard work. You are the role models for the athletes by encouraging all kids to strive to be their best. Without you, we wouldn't have teams. Without teams, we wouldn't have a club that I can be involved with. I also need to thank our parents, athletes, and my family for making my job easier. Without all of these great people and support from everyone, it would not be as rewarding as it is. I do what I do because it puts a smile on my face to watch kids grow in the sport of volleyball. And when I see them happy and parents happy, it makes it all worth it. At times, it is a thankless job being a volunteer, and this has been more apparent during COVID. All the extra precautions, extra paperwork, temperature checks and cleaning protocols make taking care of our facility and our ACE family a challenge, but I'm always up for a challenge. We built a new facility last year for our athletes to train in, and at times I'm there six days a week, but it makes me happy to give back to Lethbridge and the surrounding areas 
to allow kids to grow and fall in love with this sport. I've made a lot of great friendships from doing this and hope to make more and see the club grow in the future. Every group and organization needs volunteers to accomplish everything, and it is my pleasure to be able to do this for ACE and Lethbridge. My grandmother always said, a job worth doing is a job worth doing well. Again, I'd like to thank Dave and ACE for this opportunity and Lethbridge Sport Council for your commitment to celebrating sport in and around Lethbridge. This year's Business and Sport Award is sponsored by Webmarks Design and Marketing Limited. With over 10 years of creative and technical experience in the web industry, Webmarks Design and Marketing Limited can help. They specialize in custom website design, development, mobile-enabled websites, and providing ongoing customer support. Their goal is to deliver the services you need now, while also planning for your future growth. The recipient for the 2020 Business and Sport Excellence Award is Lethbridge Booster Juice. Convincing Booster Juice to be a major contributor to the Lethbridge 2020 Alberta Summer Games was not difficult. Kerry, Mike, Tim and the rest of the Booster Juice staff were excited about the games and wanted to be involved. Booster Juice donated over 2,000 water bottles to be distributed to the participants of the games. With a retail value of over 25000 this is one of the larger business donations to become a diamond sponsor. Since the Lethbridge Games have been cancelled, Mike, Tim, Kerry and their team have graciously agreed to donate all the water bottles to the next scheduled youth games. Lethbridge Booster Juice has contributed to community and school sports tournaments for many years. You can always expect to see Booster Juice coupons, or Player of the Game Awards sponsored by Booster Juice. They truly are a local sports supporter. A sampling of events and sports organizations supported by Booster Juice include the 2019 Lethbridge Baseball U12 Major AAA Schools Out Tournament, the Lethbridge Hurricanes, the Lethbridge Soccer Association, GS Lakey School Sports, and the Lethbridge Lacrosse Association. We are pleased to present the Business and Sport Excellence Award to Lethbridge Booster Juice. Hi, I'd like to thank Steve from the Alberta Summer Games Committee for the nomination and uh, the award as uh, the Alberta Summer Games are a big part of my life and personal experience being the zone one coach for lacrosse uh, back in 2018 in Grand Prairie. So what a great experience for the athletes and, and as a coach and everyone involved in it. So that's where it was an honor to be a part of the Alberta Summer Games that didn't happen down here, but uh, and still moving forward and supporting them through that. So thank you very much for that. Supporting athletics in Southern Alberta is a big part of our world as well as a company and as an individual. Uh, with coaching my kids in lacrosse and hockey and volleyball and all kinds of sports, it's important as a community to thank those people that help us out in business, and it's great to be a part of giving back wherever we can. And we'd also really like to thank the Lethbridge Sport Council for this award. Uh, we at Booster Juice really love to support all uh, amateur sports in Lethbridge and uh, love working with all the organizations. Thank you. Uh, at Booster Juice, we've always felt it very important to support amateur sport, and whether we're supporting the Lethbridge Hurricanes or down to uh, grade five basketball, it's uh, one of our passions and uh, very important in the development of individuals in our community. Our next category of awards is the Sport Leadership Awards, including the Sean Ward Sport Champion, Sport Administrator, and Sport Organization. The recipient for the 2020 Sean Ward Sport Champion is Jude Huey. Jude Huey has been a leader in the sport of archery in Southern Alberta and across Canada for three decades as an athlete, coach, administrator and volunteer. Jude and her late husband Dennis owned Archery Unlimited, the epicentre of archery in Southern Alberta from 1995 until they retired in 2007. She was inducted into the 2007 Lethbridge Sports Hall of Fame as an athlete for her accomplishments from 1989 to 2006 when she accumulated 
19 national and 29 provincial records, represented Canada three times at the World Archery Championships and again in 2007 and 2013. In 1995, she was named the Federation of Canadian Archers Female Athlete of the Year. Jude still holds many national records. She is a certified NCCP competition development coach and coach facilitator, a coach and technical director at the Alberta Games and Canada Games. In 2015, she became a certified mental management coach and facilitator and was awarded the Archery Alberta Coach of the Year honor. She coached an athlete to a silver in the 2010 Worlds and Jamie Brijo of Lethbridge to his World Cup debut and silver medal finish. Jude has been involved in the junior archery programs since 1992, when she first served as head coach. As an administrator, Jude has sat on executive boards locally, provincially, and nationally. In 2019, Jude was awarded the Archery Canada's highest level, the Diamond Volunteer Recognition Pin. If you have been involved in competitive archery in the Lethbridge region, you will surely have been influenced by Jude's contributions. We are pleased to present the Sean Ward Sport Champion Award to Jude Huey. As athletes, we are recognized for medals won in competition. Our other contributions to our sports are often not acknowledged. It is an honor to have been presented with the Sean Ward Sport Champion Award by the Lethbridge Sport Council and to have been nominated by Monica Higgins. Three decades sounds like such a long time, but when you love a sport, time passes very quickly. The memories, however, will last a lifetime. Participation in the sport is exhilarating. Coaching the sport is very rewarding. Passing on knowledge is essential. I have volunteered on the boards of the Lethbridge Bowbenders, Archery Alberta, and Archery Canada. Each level has its own unique challenges, but being part of the solutions is one of the greatest feelings a volunteer can enjoy. Of all my activities in archery, coaching is my passion. I have coached many provincial and national champions. I have coached elite athletes to World Cup events. I have coached para-archer who represented Canada at the para-world championship. Every individual is unique and coaching techniques must be modified. Because of this, I love being a coach. Once again, thank you for the award. In 2007 at the Sport Hall of Fame induction banquet, I told them I wasn't done. I will say it again, I'm not done yet. The recipient for the 2020 Sport Administrator Award is Shelley Boris. As a volunteer sport administrator, Shelley has made an overwhelming contribution to the world of volleyball in Lethbridge for athletes, but also for parents, coaches, and the university or college community. With over nine years of volunteer commitment, she has invested countless hours instilling passion in athletes and coaches, developing and strengthening partnerships with the Lethbridge College and Volleyball Alberta, improving programming including expanded ages, recreational programming, and fall development during COVID-19. Shelley has successfully advocated to bring back volleyball events like the Provincial Premier Tournament to our city. In my four years of working with Shelley, I personally witnessed her dedication, perseverance, and ability to inspire others while consistently focusing on the desire to encourage participation by as many community members as possible. Even while migrating through the progression of this pandemic, the focus remained on economically providing any possible physical, mental, and financial benefits of sport to our athletes while weighing risk and promoting health. We are pleased to present the Sport Administrator Award to Shelley Boris. I want to start by congratulating all the award recipients this year. I'm humbled and honoured to receive this award in sports administration. I started with the volleyball club several years ago when my boys began getting involved in volleyball and I decided I wanted to do something to support. 
I then realized that it's a very big job running a sports organization and um, lots of help was needed. LVC has over uh, about 150 athletes and over 50 volunteers. Little did I know, several years later, I would become the president of the organization and take on a larger role. I was supported in that role by many amazing board members, and I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. It's not a one-person job. Anyone knows it is such a big job to run an organization, from the scheduling to the gear, the equipment. Uh, this year we had Cubs to Kodiaks get started. We had to pivot, of course, because of COVID, and just so many things uh, and so many challenges that an organization faces. And it's such hard work, but we do it for the kids. I mean, that's what everyone says, but it's true. You want the kids to have a great experience and to grow as people. LBC has a long history in Lethbridge and in Southern Alberta, and many people have been involved for many years, and they really deserve to be thanked and acknowledged, so thank you all. I do want to say a special thank you to Tracy Pylon and to Dana Sargent. Uh, they gave many hours to the LBC club and to the sport, and have were always there to support me when I needed it. So the biggest thank you though goes to my family. With the many hours of volunteering, they were always there to support me and pick up where I left off at home. So thank you to my family for your understanding and for your support. So thank you to everyone from the bottom of my heart and much gratitude to all. Tourism Lethbridge is the proud sponsor of the Sport Organization Award. Tourism Lethbridge is the lead organization for the Lethbridge Sport Tourism Advisory Committee. The recipient for the 2020 Sport Organization Award is Ace Volleyball Club. David Wildman, founder of Ace Volleyball, and his team have done a lot in a short period of time. Coming to Lethbridge two years ago, Ace Volleyball wanted to provide an opportunity for more kids to play volleyball. In the first year, the Ace Volleyball Club joined the Lethbridge sports scene. They had four teams spanning ages 14 to 18 with roughly 48 players. In year two, the club doubled in size with over 100 athletes playing in the club program and the new summer programs. The Lethbridge Ace has contributed not only to the volleyball community, but to other sports with the construction of the facility on the north side. Ace Volleyball has made cash donations to the Lethbridge College Kodiak's women's volleyball team, where Ace alumni athletes have and currently play. They have also donated over $10,000 to Make-A-Wish Foundation in Southern Alberta for a wish recipient. With no school volleyball happening last fall, Ace Volleyball created a Super League program for athletes in junior and senior high schools, which was an in-house league that saw over 300 athletes participate. We are pleased to present the Sports Organization Award to Ace Volleyball Club. My name is David Wildman, and I am the founder of Ace Volleyball Club. First off, I want to say what an honor it is to be even considered as Association of the Year. Let alone receive multiple nominations, be shortlisted, and now sit here before you accepting this prestigious award. In the short time we have been in Lethbridge, we have made it our top priority to connect with the community. Like any ACE chapter, our initiatives are not only to provide amazing volleyball programming, but also to invest into the communities we serve. In our very first year serving Lethbridge community, we were able to grant a local Make-A-Wish recipient her wish. In year two, we saw the need for more recreation facilities and invested into the infrastructure of an amazing community building called The Facility, a full recreational bay uh, that is used for adults and youth uh, to utilize for volleyball and variety of other sports. ACE has been a longtime supporter of the Lethbridge College Kodiaks women's volleyball team, with many graduating athletes moving on to play on this team. With the uh, amount of growth we have seen within our association in Lethbridge, we are excited to continue our journey forward of providing amazing programs, teams, special guest coaches, and national team athlete camps for the community, community for years to come. ACE promises to continue to grow our community ties and to support local businesses. I want to thank Danette Anderson, our Lethbridge liaison. Danette, Danette's hard work, dedication, and attention to detail has been an amazing asset to ACE. I want to thank all the coaches who are with ACE. You are truly the heartbeat of ACE. You count, your countless hours of working with athletes never goes unnoticed. Even though this can be a thankless job at times, your effort creates a ripple effect of positive change now and in, into the future. Thank you to all the people in the community who have nominated us for this award. Without your voice, many families in the Lethbridge community 
would not know there are options out there for their children in the sport of volleyball. Thank you to Lethbridge Sport Council for selecting ACE as the Association of the Year. It's an honour to be here and look forward to representing and serving the community for years to come. Our next category is the Spirit in Sport Awards that honour outstanding community sport heroes for their character and actions that help grow and shape sport in our community. The Knud Peterson Spirit in Sport Award recognizes individuals that demonstrate the magic that lives within sport to inspire, motivate, and capture the hearts and minds of the community. The Lethbridge Sports Hall of Fame is the proud sponsor of the Knud Peterson Spirit in Sport Award. The Lethbridge Sports Hall of Fame was established in 1985 for the purpose of recognizing the outstanding achievements in sport of individual athletes, builders, teams, and special award recipients. The recipient for the 2020 Knud Peterson Spirit in Sport Award is Karen Johnson. Karen supports several running events the Dragon Boat community is a type of drummer, lover of yoga, and a coach. Karen's community involvement would suggest that she is more than a volunteer. She lives and believes in the benefits of sport for life. As a mature athlete, coach, and volunteer, she believes in being a positive role model for healthy aging and dynamic participation. Karen is described by her peers as our dragon boat lady. She represents all things dragon boating, a teammate, a drummer, a coach, an official, a mentor, and a strong advocate for dragon boating at any level. Karen began her dragon boating in 2002 when she paddled with the City of Lethbridge crew during the first Lethbridge Rotary Dragon Boat Festival. Finding a passion for the sport, Karen was instrumental in starting Team ID in the hope of extending the paddling season and participating in other Dragon Boat festivals. Since then, her contributions include being a festival head coach, a member of the festival organizing committee as race chair, founding member of the Kuri Classic Dragons Women's Masters team, Technical Director responsible for coaching, steering, and drumming training for the Dragon Boat Association of Southern Alberta. And in 2020, Karen was elected Dragon Boat Canada Festival Director. She continues to coach the Cooley Classic Dragons as they compete nationally and internationally, and was instrumental in mentoring a local paddler to the Canadian national team. We are very pleased to present the Knud Peterson Spirit and Sport Award to Karen Johnson. Thank you. I'm finding this acknowledgement very overwhelming and humbling. The Knud Peterson Spirit and Sport Award. Knud and I served as senators for the University of Lethbridge together for many years. His passion and endless energy for sport and his community is just part of his design. He is a role model for us all. He is everywhere and he always has such a big smile. To be honored in his spirit is more than I could ever be blessed with. This award is said to showcase the magic that lives within sport to inspire, motivate, and capture the hearts and minds of the community. My magic comes from the optimism, dedication, spirit, giving of time and energy from all of those around me, including my husband, my son, my loving friends and family, my crews, especially the Cooley Classic Dragons, my fellow coaches, the paddlers, the volunteers, just to name a few. Thank you to those who took the time to write heartfelt letters of support that brought tears. And thank you, Leanne, for the nomination. Thank you to the Lethbridge Sport Council and those making this great event happen. Congratulations to all being recognized today. Our community is a better place for your contribution. Keep calm and paddle on. On behalf of the Lethbridge Sport Council Board of Directors and staff, we would like to congratulate all of this year's Achievement Award winners. Thank you again to our amazing sponsors who are such great supporters of community sports.
And to the winners, it is truly an honor to hear about your achievements and get to know you better. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors and invite you to please share your future successes with us and know that we are always cheering you on. Thank you.